Welcome to the part 6 of the series on volume spread analysis. In this part, we will be talking about the 2 bar reversal on the downside. The 2 bar reversal would indicate a short term reversal. So we will look at the definitions and examples of the 2 bar reversal in this video. We have been looking at the signs of weakness. First we looked at the buying climax, then the upthrust bar and the pseudo upthrust bar, the effort to bar, fall bar and now we are going to look at the two bar reversals. The two bar reversal is a bearish signal or a signal of weakness. It signals a short term reversal of the current uptrend move. It is not a total reversal normally, it is a short term reversal and the, the current uptrend stops and then retraces to some extent before either continuing the uptrend or going sideways. Now let's look at the definition of the two bar reversal. Now it is a combination of actually two bars but you should look at the last four to five bars. So the definition states that the previous bar is the highest of the previous four bar, five bars and the current bar engulfs the pre previous bar and closes below, near the low. And the volume on both the bars, the current and the previous bar, are above average or high. Now, let's look at the interpretation for the two bar reversal downside pattern. As you can see here, the prices have been moving up, gathering momentum. As the prices are moving up, the weekends are getting in. Then we have a bar on higher volume, an up bar on higher volume. In the following bar, the weekends are jumping in in anticipation of continuing momentum are already there in, in the anticipation of continuing momentum. Then the selling comes in, pushing the prices down and the bar closes below the previous low, trapping the weak hands. The strong, strong hands have booked some profit, passing off some stock to the weak hands. More selling follows and the prices are pushed down. So, the strong hands can pick up more at lower prices. Variations of this pattern in terms of volume and spread are also quite common. Now, what do we look for when we see this pattern? As usual, we have to look at the subsequent bars for price action to decide if the weakness is evident or it is negated. If we see down bars, then it, there is a follow-up action and then we can see more weakness. If the next bar is an up bar, then the action of the two bar reversal pattern is negated and the weakness is ruled out. Look at the volume of these two TB bars. Higher the volume, normally it confirms the weakness. Lower volume variations are also found to cause weakness, but the weakness can be limited. Actually, these uh, two bar reversals were not part of the original VSA patterns, but I find that these are normally included in the current VSA uh, experts when they present their. Uh, webinars and it is part of their strategy 
So I've included this in two bar reversal in this uh, series because the action of this is very similar to an upthrust bar. And I found that this does work many times. So I've included this as part of our VSA series. Now let's look at some examples. In the first uh, example, we will look at a classical two bar reversal. I have the chart of the KP technologies. It's a daily chart. And as usual, I'm using the replay mode for better illustration. So we'll start the chart from the 16th of September 2020. So we'll start the replay mode to see how the prices play out. So the next bar you have an up bar, again an up bar, but you can see some selling because of the long wick. So the selling continued. The stock is moving more of sideways here. Then you have an up bar with increased volume. You have another up bar with much increased volume. Then you have another shorter bar but with reduced volume. Then we have a bar which is typical a two bar reversal. We can see the previous bar was the highest close of the last three or four bars. The volume was here was average in this previous bar. But in the current bar, you can see the volume increased very much high and the bar closed down here near the low. So this is a typical two bar reversal. So ideally, because since the volume was high, it was uh, high volume two bar reversal. So we should see some retracement from these levels. So let's see how the prices play out further and see if the weakness projected by the two bar reversal comes into effect. The next bar, you can see it closed down. It's a very short bar and the volume dropped. And the next bar again, it's a down bar. Overall price is moving slightly downwards, downwards. And the prices have been coming down. So you can see here, from this two bar reversal, the prices reversed. Here, and it moves some sideways and started moving up. So you can see this is not a full reversal, it is a temporary reversal or a short term reversal pushing the prices down. So now let me add the VPA 5.0 here. You can clearly see that VPA told us that it is two bar reversal and we could anticipate the down move. So in such circumstances what one should do is when you see the two bar reversal draw the levels here like before in other bars with the BC bars or the upthrust bar. Let's draw the levels here. The Always draw the high and low of this bar. So once this bar happens, watch the, for the next bars. Here of course it is the weakness got projected and it was pushed down. So once the prices drop below the low of the two bar reversal bar, 
then we know there is weakness. So you need to look at the levels. Many times you will see that the prices go within the range of the two bar reversal and finally break the higher level or the high level of the TB bar and then move up. So always draw these lines as guidelines for you to see if the weakness comes or the weakness is negated. Here clearly once it is broke below the low of the TB bar then we are sure that there is weakness. So we need to keenly watch. Here you can see that there was some resistance to the downward push. So some sideways moves and finally the sellers won here and then push the prices down here further. So always draw these levels which will give a good guidance for you to see if the weakness is projected or it is negative. Now, uh, let us look at some examples where the TB bar failed or the weakness projected by the TB bar was totally negative. So let us continue with the same chart of KP Technologies. So let's see how the prices uh, play out further. So more of a sideways move here. So it's moving up slightly but overall sideways then we have a tv bar here this is also an effort to move on bar but at the same time it, it is a tb bar as well as you can see the previous bar uh, the close was the highest of the previous three to four bars and this bar totally engulfed the previous bar and the volume was above average in both bars so ideally we should accept some expect some weakness so let's see how the prices play out you can see the next bar totally negated the weakness projected by the tb bar or it was even an effort to move down bar it is totally negated that and the volume was much higher so let's see how the prices moved up, moved play out further. So the next one is again a TV bar. You can see totally engulfing the previous bar. And the previous bar closed high. And the close was the highest of the previous five to six bars. And this one totally engulfed the previous bar and it closed down. And the volume was also quite high, but not as high as the previous bar. But it is a typical TB bar on a high volume. So we normally should expect some weakness coming after this. But again, this bar totally negates the weakness of the previous TB bar. We have increased volume and the spread was almost equally high and it closed on the top totally negates the weakness projected by the TV bar. So then it starts moving higher. So here we see two TV bars whose weakness was totally negated by the subsequent bars and the prices started moving higher. So what was the difference in these two scenarios? As you can see, the first one we were seeing in an up move where it was quite a steeper up move and then the TB bar happened and the weakness became quite evident. But in this case you can see the overall movement was almost sideways. There was no momentum in the movement. There was no increasing prices. Though you can see the higher volumes here, wider spreads, but overall movement was almost sideways here. It's a slight inclination and the upward inclination, but it was mostly sideways here. So always look at what was happening prior to the event. Whether it, it was moving in an uptrend or it was moving sideways 
and that could have some effect on the pattern or the TV bar pattern. So look at the background, what is happening. Look at the volume, look at the spread. So these could tell us much more about what is to come after the TB bar. Let us look at one more example. But this time we will look at a two bar reversal with low volume. So I have the chart of Hindustan Unilever. It's a daily chart and I'm using the replay mode. The chart starts from 12th May 2022. So let's see how the prices play out. The prices have been moving. You can see an effort to move up bar, another effort to move up bar, then an effort to fall bar. Here we have a two bar reversal bar. You can see the indication also here, two bar reversal. But look at the volume. The previous bar had high volume, but the current bar, the value is just average. The volume is just average. But it meets the definition of a two bar reversal. It totally engulfs the previous bar. And the previous bar close is the highest of the last three or four bars here. But only the difference is the volume. So let's see how the further prices play out. As you can see, the weakness has come and the prices are moving down. So though it was a low volume two bar reversal, still the weakness came in and pushed the prices down. From here it started moving up again. So the reversal was temporary or a short term reversal caused by the two two bar reversal pattern. So this caused the weakness even though the volume was low. So this is a variation of the two bar reversal with low volume. Let us quickly summarize what we learned in this video about the two bar reversal or the TB bar. The TB bars mark a short term reversal or a temporary reversal of the uptrend. The subsequent bars can negate the weakness of the TB bar. Variations can be found in terms of volume and the spread. However, these variations still do cause the weakness. The TB box mark the smart money booking some profits and gathering more at lower prices. Always look at the background to judge the TB reversal pattern. For example, it, if the trend was up with good momentum, the effect of the TB bar is more and it was a sluggish upward moment, the effect could be much less. Drawing the high and the low levels of the TB bar helps to judge the weakness or the negation of the weakness. This is the summary of what we learned today. And we come to the end of this video. In the next part, the part 7 of the video series on volume spread analysis, we will learn about the no demand bar. In order to get notified for the release of future parts or videos in this series, do subscribe to this channel. In case you find this video useful, please do press the like button. Thank you.